welcome to the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee at Plantation High School. Um, I'm Brian Shaw, I'm the director and lighting designer of tonight's performance. Woo! Woo! And I'm Jessica Lohman, I'm the music director and the conductor for today's orchestra, which is comprised of Plantation High School's finest student musicians. <laughs> Miss Peretti, please spell syzygy. S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y, syzygy. We have a winner! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! At the 25th annual Hutchnum County Spelling Bee, my parents keep on telling me. Sit 
think? At the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee.
Hey, that didn't help me at all. Are you ready to spell the word, Mr. Cody Bear? No, but it was nice being here. I mean, my family's here, which is really C A P Y B A R A. Capybara? That is correct. <laughs> it is? I can't believe it. I, I just said the first thing that came to my head. And now I was really. Miss Ostrowski. Miss Ostrowski came in second in her school's Halloween contest. I was roadkill. <laughs> Boanthropy. Boanthropy. May I have the definition? The delusion that one has become an ox. Oh, wait. One second, ma'am. Could you not sit in that seat? I saved the chair for my dad in the third row on the aisle. And it may take him a while, but when he gets here, that's his chair. Cause my mother's in an ashram in India. I saved a chair for her too, but it's merely symbolic. As daily she washes herself in the Ganges. And I live.
Vacuary. Can you repeat the word? Vacuary. A cow pasture. <coughs> Holy crap, it's a battery. <laughs> Holy crap, it's wrong. <laughs> Miss Morton. 
Miss Morton ran for class president under the slogan, When you think white girl, you think me. How? What? How? 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 I just told you, only the speller at the microphone may repeat the word. Your word is cow. Yes. Oh. Would you use it in a sentence, please? Please oh. spell cow. <laughs> C O D. Thank you. Thank you. Spelling please, 
Logan. Shoulders back 
and your chin up, and all those little hairs away from your face. Perfect. It's a hard age for girls. <laughs> and for boys, with this difference, ask a child in a spelling bee if they expect to win, and boys and girls are trained to respond differently. The correct response for boys is... I'm taking it all. You guys are going down. <laughs> While the correct response for girls is... Honestly, I don't think I'll win the whole thing. I'm a good speller, but I'm not a truly great speller. And while I've trained really hard, there's just so much luck involved. <laughs> Though, in my experience, the boys are sometimes thinking... Oh, I don't know. Am I good enough or not? <laughs> while the girls are sometimes thinking... Left. 
if you spell this word correctly. Vexation. <laughs> Vexation. B. A. B. A. T-I-O-N. Today's my lucky day. <laughs> Goodbye. Turkish. Q 
Q-A-I-M-A, Q-A-M, Quark. That's remarkable. And correct. Miss Quark is all business. I am not. Mr. Tolentino. Oh, Mrs. de Blasio. <coughs> you look so cheers. 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 I'm sorry, did I just spell? Yes. Do you think you could skip my turn now and give me two in a row later? And why would you want me to do that? <laughs> I'd rather not say it out loud. You can either take your turn now or forfeit. I'll take my turn now. Another excellent decision by the incumbent. <laughs> That's a lovely model, my dear. I just want to talk. The word is tit up. <laughs> Definition, please. It means lively movement or behavior, or to move restlessly. It refers to the sound of horses' hooves. Tit up, tit up, tit up. Tit up. Um. T. I. T. <laughs> <laughs> U-P-I, I mean, T-I-T-T-U-P, tit-up, I'm tit -up. sorry, the correct spelling is T-I-T-T-U-P, tit-up. That's exactly what I said, T-I-T-T-U-P, tit-up. But first you said t i t <laughs> and you were wrong. No, I said T-I-T-T-U-P, tit-up. If you tit start to spell a word, you may start over, but, but the secret is already told you may not be changed. No, wait, no, that's not fair, I got it right, I definitely got it right. Life is random and unfair, and I'm not an animal. This is all your fault, this is the boss, you your fault. That's the reason we despair. And you When they lose. I want to tell them disappointment doesn't last. But from what I see, disappointment lasts like hell. I want to tell them words don't matter. But from what I see, words can get you killed. I just want to beat them up a little so that they can see that pain has degrees. And this is nothing. This is nothing, you little freaks. But that would violate my parole. <laughs> so I do what I can. I give him a hug in the juice box. I'm here to give comfort. Let's go. Miss Pretty, can you please have one more chance? Let's go, kid. Good Bye. Bye. Whaling term, and there is only one written citation. In 
The new tide is upon us. The Leviathan nears. Catch it. I now have experience. 
people lack concentration. My unfortunate unfocus, blame it all about focus, focus. Anyone for MS? This is inappropriate. Anyone for chewing goobers? Expensive. Anyone for buying this crap that I'm selling because my humor is ruined by spelling.
Practice your breathing, Logan. Now I practice yoga, I don't breathe. I try not to disappoint, but still I disappoint the dads who might have mocked. Kids are mean, kids will talk. All my so called friends roll their eyes, they're incredibly petty. Because my dads are my dad, and are right enough already. Whoa. That to me 
is not an inviting sound. That little ding, to me it brings a plenty there. I was fine, that life was fair. I mean, I never felt a smidgen of despair. They say a bell can break your heart, but just not mine. Since I opine, I think I know. Mr. Park, your word is camouflage. Camouflage? 
much? Dear Jesus, could you have given me a harder word? Of course I can, my child. <laughs> Jesus? Marcy? Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, how, how are you? I'm good. Is that your prayer, Marcy, for a more difficult word? Well, it was. But now that you're here, can I ask for something better? I'm here for you now, Marcy. C'est pour toi, que je suis ici. Well, Jesus, I was just wondering what would happen if I didn't win today. What do you think would happen? Well, I don't know, but would you be disappointed? Of course not, but Marcy, I also wouldn't be disappointed with you if you win. You're saying it's up to me? Yes, and this isn't the kind of thing I care about very much. <laughs> Camouflage. C A M F L O U G Z H. Camouflage. I blew that word. She blew that word. I blew that word. Life has such possibilities. Here's where I begin. The best that I love.
Thank you. You look your parents are in India, Olive. Only my mom is. My dad's coming from work. Thank you, Mitch. I've got it from here. You guys are great. In my defense, I am lactose intolerant. <clears throat> Miss Ostrowski. What did my dad say? Oh, your dad said that he's just running a tad bit late, and we'll discuss his entrance fee with him when he picks you up later. But did he say when he was going to get here? Chimerical. What was the word? Chimerical. May I have a definition? It means unreal, imaginary, visionary, wildly fanciful. Highly unrealistic. Because if 
Mr. Barfy. Crepus fuel. I'm sorry, crep? Crepus fuel. Crepus fuel. One moment, please. William, William, William. Chromatophore. Chromatophore. 
And if you want to rearrange the letters of those letters, would you be able to spell the word? Mr. Fu ate a rock? What? She cooked this carrot. Rock food carrot? That home cohort? Mr. Barbie, please spell Astro Bleed.
bars. <laughs> UNG Veltenshaw. We have a winner! Champion! Just sensational champion! Prep presentational champion! At the Putnam County Spelling! Thank you so much. <laughs> On behalf of our sponsors, the Putnam Optometrists, you've got to see us to believe us. Oh. We'd like to present you William Morris Barfay with this $200 savings bond toward your future education. Congratulations! All my life I've been able to breathe through one nostril, and today is no exception! <laughs> yes. And this year there's also a runner-up prize. There is. Yes, as you know, for any reason, the spelling champ cannot fulfill his duties as spelling champ. The winner must, well, the second place winner, must step in and take his place to assume all spelling responsibilities. So this year, our sponsor is offering a $25 cash prize to the second place winner. Congratulations, Ms. Upstairs. Miss Pretty, I can pay the entrance fee now. Oh, very good. Very good. Good to be. Thanks, Chomsky. You too. Well, I made a dumb mistake on e-linguistics. No, not really. I didn't want to spell that one either. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I totally didn't want to spell that word. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bart. Yeah? Congratulations. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my Vice Principal Potts discovered a new passion for her. Her name was Rona Lisa Freddy, and after courting her tirelessly for two years, she filed a restraining order on him. Still, he was grateful for the chance to experience love. Rona Lisa Peretti left Putnam County for a stretch and traveled the world to bring competitive spelling to the less fortunate. She hosted bees in Latvia, Sweden, and the Republic of Guinea Bissau where she fell in love with an indigenous cashew farmer and became one of the top realtors in that country. Mitch Mahoney discovered a new talent at the Puffer Bee, so he made his community service lifelong, comforting a lemonade spellers and frustrated educators across the nation. Over the years, he remained in touch with scores of people he had comforted. Dear Mitch, it is a Chip Tolentino made it through adolescence, and in the course of time, came to appreciate the distractions of his puberty, as did many others. <laughs> Marcy Park continued to explore the freedom of not living up to expectations. She later went on to write a book called Not Living Up to Expectations. It did not live up to expectations. She's happy. Leaf Cody Bear has cats. <laughs> Logan towards the Grubin year won the 31st annual Putnam County Spelling Bee on her seventh and final year of eligibility. She later went on to become Secretary of Education under President Lady Gaga. Her speech therapy was completely successful. He came in 42nd. In later years, he grew up to be incredibly handsome and to gain fame and notoriety for his pioneering efforts on his combined scientific fields of psychiatry and podiatry. Otherwise known as postpiratry. All of his 
trust deep at home to an empty house, an uncertain future, and a well-worn dictionary. But a strange new prediction that she'd be able to face all three. At the 25th annual
And lastly, a very special friend of mine, Victoria de Blasio, who assisted me in directing the show. We loved working on this show. We're gonna miss it. It was hard. We're gonna miss it fondly. And we thank you all for supporting us. Thank you. Have a good night.